Sup everyone, DS217 here, and with me is the return of Multifire. Yo! For the second time, I think, this year. Anyway, today... What? That never came back this year. Y y didn't you do the catalog with me for the winter, uh, 2000... Or was that back in 2012? Did we do that before New Year's? I... I don't remember. Well, I need to go check, but yeah, you're, you're back I, I again. Think... Alright. <laughs> And today, we're going to do an extension to one of my previous videos, which was a response to Dark Inception of the definition of a fan. Uh, check it out if you haven't already, but in that video, I, dis I discuss a little about something that really bums the hell out of me. And that's seeing fan bases at war. And by war, I mean just basic vicious, vicious arguments, pissing contents on who's the superior fan for liking this particular thing and hating on p this particular thing on the same franchise, etc., etc., which was already annoying enough to see when you witness stuff like Star Trek vs. Star Wars, Naruto vs. One Piece, or fuck those stupid console war debates. However, the yeah. problem is now is that fandoms grow over time, and now they ended up going to war with themselves now, and it just it just totally sucks. And this can apply to almost every fandom of every music game, cartoon, anime, whatever, anything. Even sub-fandoms go after each other's throats, like the Shin Megami Tensei fan base, uh, which I'm going to cover a little later. Thankfully, I see this mostly contained with the internet, and I barely witness this travesty elsewhere, and I hope to never witness this travesty elsewhere. And if you happen to disagree and have stories where you have, in fact, witnessed this, please tell your little story in the comment section or make a video response. But so far, haven't seen any public fights I've directly witnessed. Uh, Multifire, your thoughts on the ideas of, uh, what's a good fan, what's a fan base you're a part of? The, the comic book fan base. The, 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 ones the comic book fan base. But yeah, well, oh, you got you got the new 52 versus the old. You got the the new Marvel versus the previous Marvel and just a whole ton of things. I mean, fan bases will fight over each will fight each other over anything, um, even in between characters. If you like a certain character, you're allowed to like this series because of this character. You know, another really big fan base I'm a part of, though, that's really torn itself up in recent times is the Evangelion fan base. Ever since the new movies came out, oh, the old series is a piece of shit. If you like that, you're dumb. Watch the new series. It's better. It's more improved. It's got all sorts of shit. It's, it's the original vision, for Christ's sakes. How can you like the old one now? Yeah, that, that, that kind of sucks, but why can't you like both? <laughs> yeah, exactly. Like, why, I can't why do you, do you there, there is no start. written rule to choose a side. This is why I never take sides on anything. And my loyalty, like, I have no loyalty when it comes to certain things. If you do something to screw me over, I might check out your opponent to see if they have anything better to offer. And if they do, I'll check that shit out. That's just me. I have no loyalty. I mean, I, I, I got an Xbox 360, but handheld-wise, I have a PlayStation Vita. But I don't have a PS3, so I'll go for anything if it has anything I want within those things. Yeah, exactly. Like, I jumped from Marvel after Marvel started sucking to DC, and then back to Marvel after DC started to suck, and then they both started to suck, and now I'm just reading indie comics. They're not reading at all. Yeah, um... It's, you don't have to like everything if you're part of a particular franchise. Like, I'm, I'm not saying you guys should, you know, wake up. It's, I'm not telling Star Trek fans to wake up and, and, and say that Enterprise wasn't that bad of a show or something like that. I mean, I have preferences. I'm a Tenchi fan. I like Tenchi Muyo, Tenchi Universe, all three Tenchi films, but uh, and even some of the OVAs. But I really, really did not like Tenchi in Tokyo. I need to rewatch it. Um... I do not like GXP. I, I, I can't really watch the newest Tenchibuya OVA series. But if you happen to like any of those things, fine, whatever. It's, it's your choice. But, you know, you got fans going after each other over... Or, or, j, j, yeah, well, that's why I say go, go after themselves, like Star Wars fan base, you know, or they, they're debating over the original trilogy versus the prequels versus the special editions versus the other special editions, uh, whether or not Boba Fett's alive, I think he's dead, uh, until J.J. Abrams says so, at least. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Um all this stuff I'm like you know if you're if you're a fan who's witnessing all this and you'd be thinking to yourself god damn how is anyone else supposed to enjoy these things now if you yourself can't 
you know, get along or just say, well, I disagree, but I respect your opinion or anything like that. I mean, Multifire, you used to love a lot of things. Now, because for you, you, you see how the fan base is, you, uh, you don't, you don't like them as much now. And I'm, I'm, I'm feeling the same way, dude. Yeah, well, exactly. I used to like uh, comic books before I met the comic book fan base. I used to like video games before I met the video game fan base. I used to like anime before I met the anime fan base. I used to just enjoy myself when I took part in any medium. But ever since I you know, got introduced to the indie critic community, I can't enjoy anything. Now, why are critics important again? I don't, I don't see it. Uh... <laughs> I don't know because uh, I, I, that that's probably another topic. But yeah, man, it's uh, I I have to agree. There were things I used to enjoy before I got exposed to some of the fan bases of anything. Like I have a friend whose very first WWF pay per view was the Invasion Angle. Uh, most people know that was a travesty. But I actually asked his opinion. It's like, well, what'd you think of the Invasion Angle? Because I've been hearing bad things about it. And he said, and I quote, and this is a great quote, I'm probably going to use this a lot. He goes, well, see, back then I really liked it because back then there was no internet to tell you otherwise. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And, you know, I used to like um, a lot of things um, before, you know, I started trying to, you know... Th the push for social integration from game developers is, is, is another reason why it's a strike against it, because I don't see fan bases really getting along with themselves or being that welcoming to other people. And, um, you know, I got into Persona recently. I played Persona 4. I loved it. played Persona 3. L liked it. Not as much as Persona 4, but I still pretty much enjoyed the hell out of it to play it to the very end. Played, got a Vita for Persona 4 Golden. That's how dedicated I am. And I'm currently playing Persona 3 Portable. However, every time I go on YouTube to listen to the soundtrack, I am dumb enough to scroll down to the comments section. People are arguing which one, which Persona game is far superior, and they're just, it's just, a, like I said, at each other's throats. It's not just saying, well, Persona 4 is good, but I prefer 3 for its story and characters more, or something like that. You may stumble onto that, but not much, man. I don't understand why people even bother choosing. I enjoy both 3 and yeah. 4. They were fun games. I don't know if I'm going to play 1 or 2 because they have some old-style RPG mechanics I can't get into. Like, if the random encounter existed in Persona 3 and, uh, 3 and 4, I probably would have dropped the games. <laughs> Just so you know. Yeah, I have trouble with random encounters sometimes. Only when they're constant. Like, just sometimes, especially like... Uh, in old games like the Pokemon games with the rock caves and shit like that, it's just... Yeah. It's terrible. Yeah. That's another topic entirely. <laughs> um, Naruto fan base. The Naruto fan base, yeah, ever since Shippuden came out, it, people have been arguing I, back and forth, like, the old Naruto was shit, but you liked it before this show came out, yeah, so... Th th that's the thing, um... <laughs> Uh, I, I've said before in my Toonami video when I when I talked about Naruto coming back, not not the not the latest one, but the one before, like the response to Path of Geo Freed, I think. Um, I think it was that one. I, I basically said that fan base is not consistent. They, 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 I, I barely see any fans that watch the show from start to finish. Though people who would hate this particular part, a story arc, or really love this arc, it's just it's a, it's a little wavelength uh, hill when you see the consistency of the fan base. And, you know, I've seen people tell me, when I really hated Naruto, I got people telling me, oh, man, Shippuden was so much better. But lately, I've been hearing the opposite. People telling me, well, the first Naruto was great, but I dropped it because Shippuden was just taking it downhill. And, really? Yeah. Like, freaking Larry made a response, you know, reasons why I dropped Naruto. And he got on me before for not liking Naruto in real life uh, during, well, when I was hanging out with him in college. But now he's, he's lightened up. And he now doesn't like Naruto because of the stuff in Shippuden, or that's what he said in his uh, YouTube video. It's so I know there's probably Naruto fans just just out for out with themselves, and you know even then, like from an outsider's perspective, it's like ugh, like it's just just the overzealousness of their you know dedications to like a particular thing. Yeah. <sighs> Yeah, yeah. I dropped I dropped Naruto after the um, entire Sasuke betraying the village arc. I tried to go further. 
I just couldn't make it. But I don't hate people if they like Naruto after that, or if they like Shippuden or something like that. I do not want to get myself immersed with the fighting game community, despite the fact that I love fighting games that fucking much. They're, they're so elitist sometimes. Yeah, uh, like some of them. I, I, some of them have this mentality, if it's not developed by Capcom, it's absolute shit. Like, Sk yeah. Skullgirls, before it was released, was getting a lot of flack for that. Um, then sometimes you have, like, uh, like fan bases, like, I've seen, yeah, I've seen people, like, uh, I've seen Guilty Gear vs. Blaze Blue uh, all the time, even though, again, love them both. Guilty Gear is a little more challenging, but Blaze Blue is fun, uh, still fun to pick up and play. Yeah, they share a lot of similarities. Yeah, I can see the similarities between Iron Tiger and Potemkin. So what? It happens. Ugh. Yeah, um, the fan base, the, the fighting game community got on me a lot for, um, for like not like publicly, but for liking like privately for liking you know stuff like Mortal Kombat and Blaze Blue and any sort of like super casual and DOA for people really don't like they're fighting game elitists that just hate DOA oh, yeah. for whatever reason. Well, because it's too simple and pick up to play. It's a very simple game, but again, it doesn't make it bad. It, it is pretty fun. I like fighting games that I can just pick up and zone out to and just destroy things yeah, I know. for a little while. <laughs> uh, that's, why I that's why I thought Netherrealm had a huge challenge when, they, uh, when developing Injustice that they're saying, oh, we're going to try to appeal to the Evo guys which is the fighting game community, most of the hardcore guys, as well as the as well as the casual guys who want to pick up and play this. And I've heard what they plan to do and stuff, and it sounds like they may be able to pull it off. I don't know. I, I do have a judging criteria. If you like it Injustice, that means it does please the casuals a bit. If my buddy the fighting gentleman loves Injustice, that means it pleases the hardcores. And if you both like it at the same time, then maybe Netherrealm did his job. That's how I'm going to grade this game's criteria. <laughs> Well, they did a pretty good job with Mortal Kombat. That seemed to please everyone. Yes. So. Lately, I've been... Uh, lately, um... I've had some issues with Mortal Kombat. Like, again, I didn't like the story. Sometimes trying to pick up the play of the game, you know, have to... Have, sometimes, I don't do this a lot, but I have to, like, pause and look at the menu and look at everyone's fighting moves before I, before I can start again after, like, a two-month hiatus from playing the game. But outside of that, I still freaking love it. The gameplay mechanics were fun. Um, there was a lot of content to hold me over, and, you know, it made me a fan of the series again like I was when I was a little kid. Yeah, that game is fantastic. It's a lot of fun. I can't wait to see what they do with the series next. Now they have to make an entire new roster of characters, pretty much. I still want them to bring back Bo Raichou. Bill Raicho is pretty fucking cool. I remember Bill Raicho. But that's just it, man. Like, fan bases hating themselves. Can't we all just get along? Or, or are you just too... Uh, or do you just want to climb to the top that badly? <laughs> I think everyone just wants to be right, and they just can't stand the thought that other people are, like have a different opinion. Even if it's part, Even if it's something that they even have similarities with, with, they just can't stand the fact that they're, they're still different in some way. I know. It's it's really depressing. It, Jesus, man. I mean, this is why I don't like to associate myself with a lot of fan bases. This is why I like try to avoid people who talk about anime and video games on the online nowadays. I barely visit forums. Big mistake when I was trying to get myself hyped up for the original Street Fighter 4. Like, I was like, okay, game facts. Maybe people are going to talk about great things and theories and discussions and stuff. Nope, it's like, God, I do not want to see Sakura in this game, or I don't want to see this character in this game. That's a waste of space and all that shit. I'm like, fuck. <laughs> this really dumb pseudo issue that is known as sexism in video games would not exist. If it wasn't for um, if it wasn't for online forums and online reviews and, and, and shit like that, if it wasn't for the stupid fan base, this wouldn't be an issue. Yeah. But it is because the fan base the, of video games they have to uh, they have to fight each other over this for no particular reason. We can all just sit down and play the game and enjoy it. But uh, yeah, I, I just missed the days have where I sat down, played the game, I enjoyed it, I enjoyed talking to talking to an individual about this game, and the only people we hated at the time was X Play. Yeah. 
<laughs> the only be and, and they were critics, they were reviewers, and most of the people on the internet have become the thing they hate, including myself in some way. Everyone has to agree, otherwise you're a horrible human being. Yeah, oh, this is why I hate Alitas so bad. I have nothing to follow up with that rant, by the way. Somebody asked me about that, but the thing is, a lot of, a lot of comments were universal agreements. Nobody actually tried to defend the idea of trying to make themselves right. Or tried to defend that ideology one bit. Therefore, I have nothing to follow up on. Nobody challenged me. Follow up on which rant? Uh, the elitism rant. When I said it, oh, how it's okay. worse than fanboyism, because I can tolerate fanboyisms at some point, but elitists are just terrible people. Elitists, they're mean, and they're, they, I don't even see how they have fun with their hobbies. I don't think they do. Like, granted, here's the thing I just found out about myself. I may not be as big of an anime fan as I am, as I was, like, ten, almost ten years ago. But I still watch anime more than anything else. I still watch it more than movies, watch it more than popular TV shows, and I and I still like watch it more than most Western animation shows, only because there's really not that much on Cartoon Network anymore, and they just canceled Injustice. Thanks, Cartoon Network. I watch TV shows, and I stay the hell away from fan bases. I don't know anyone else that likes the shows I like. Like, I, I know people in real life, but I don't know any fan bases of the shows. Yeah, I, I, guess, I avoid them. Like, if, I, if I'm friends with somebody who likes the same things I like already, like, I got two people introduced introduce me to the Persona fans, I can discuss things with them. But if it's, like, a completely different stranger, and he's gonna act like a dick, then I just... There's no way we I could, like want to be, be associated with that yeah and that's man it's just it just makes the rest of the fan base look bad even though i pers personally believe it's self-representation like even though i like persona three and four you know the rest of the fan base isn't isn't me i represent myself you know that's how i feel like oh well you know just because you're a show jump fan doesn't mean everyone uh doesn't mean you have to paint everyone with a white brush i think that's what al said or paint with white paint. Damn it, I forgot that saying, but you know what I'm talking about. Just because yeah. you like something, that means you're not similar to the other guys. You have your own different ways of handling things and stuff. You may have some similarities, but you're not an overall overzealous idiot sometimes. Yeah, exactly. <sighs> well, I think I got a lot of it covered. Um... Is this a problem for you guys? That's some questions I'm going to ask. Uh, do you also see, like, fan bases that you are... Do you see things that you're a fan of, and then you see the fan bases, and you're like, uh, because, honestly, I do hate my own fan base. I've been thinking about doing a rant series on in, on stuff I really hate about the stu uh, fans of the stuff I like. <laughs> uh. I was thinking about it for one time, and it was going to be called It's Okay, I Hate My Fan Base Too. <laughs> it's, a, it's still a working title it'll be controversial it would be but yeah fan bases at war I don't think I have anything else to add to this discussion and as for your th thoughts on sexism you, you, said, you said you may do something on a bigger issue on your own channel so I've this I've had things to say about sexism and feminism since way before Anita. I'm not even going to mention her in my video. Like, if I have you as a guest, you can feel free to mention her, but chances are, like, I have so much to talk about since this is becoming an issue now, and I'm pretty sure all these issues have been repeated by a bunch of other people. I haven't watched any of the videos on Anita, but I'm pretty sure of it, like, my concerns were probably echoed here and there, but I just want to get out what, um, uh, what I think about the issue because I'm 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 sick of it. All right. Well, that's all we gotta say. Uh, I'm probably gonna do a rant on obscure anime and maybe some of the fan base behind them. Um, that was something else I said in my tsunami video. And yeah, closing thoughts, uh, fans. You know, bases, man. Just try to get along. Can we all just get along? Let's go back to enjoying things. Yeah, let's go back to trying to enjoy things or at least enjoy different things instead of, you know, harping on someone else's throat for enjoying something different. You know, the original series versus the next generation. Who cares? They're both good shows. 
when, when you go to criticize something, look for reasons to like it, not for reasons to hate it. Yeah. And that that's how I feel. That's all I have to say about that. All right, that's all. <laughs> uh, with that, uh, Multifire has a DA, uh, DA account. You can check out his artwork there. Uh, hopefully he will come back on his uh, YouTube channel soon to, t to expand on that subject that we just mentioned. And with that, Darkscreen217 signing out. And this is Multifire, and I'll actually see you in future videos. All right. All right. See ya.